Hello everyone, you're watching the Culver City Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar and this week Jeopardy is starting back up production again with a new host. And how will George Gascone follow through with his agenda after taking office? We'll, we'll tell you all about it, stay tuned. But first I want to tell you about our sponsor, Hypothermia Cancer Institute. It's the best cancer treatment that you've never heard of. Click below for more info. Our top story today, local budget cuts are leading to more trash and pollution on West Side beaches, according to environmental experts. We have the full story right here and we'll be back with today's news after this. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. Jeopardy has been around since 1984 and was hosted by beloved Alex Trebek. And since Trebek's death, the show has taken a little hiatus from filming. But now production's back up and running, set to start on Monday at Sony Pictures in Culver City. The host will be Ken Jennings, who will be a first of a series of interim hosts from within the Jeopardy family. Trebek's last week of episodes will be airing the week of January 4th, and the rest of the, the guest hosted shows will start airing January 11th. Additional guest hosts will continue to be announced in the coming weeks. After elections, it's common for new heads of government to fire some of the old administration's team, but that might not be the case for a Los Angeles new district attorney, George Gascon. LA city prosecutors are protected by strong civil service laws and therefore have protections against demotion and discipline without just cause. Prosecutors cannot openly defy Gascon's directives, but they also cannot really be fired by him either. During Gascon's campaign, he had a very progressive agenda that included no longer seeking the death penalty for sentences no longer trying juveniles as adults and pursuing criminal charges against police officers for using excessive force, among other things. The follow through with his agenda will be difficult if he can't persuade everyone, and he's going to have to do that through professionalism and not through firing. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliette Lamar, and you take care.